Welcome to the Kobe Bryant film room. So we've got uh, a clip that's going viral with uh, Mr. Dwayne Wade about Kobe Bryant and the uh, and Miami's big three and how they formed, right? So let's let Wade explain it and I'm gonna go over it. I was trying to cut my TV off, so when Kobe ran and grabbed their ball, I was like, <laughs> 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 So what you gonna do? <laughs> that was our summer free agency. Like they had just, they were dominating. Like Kobe was winning all these rings. I was like, wait, hold on. Now you got five and we got one? Like, no. So yeah, man, that, that, that was a, it's, it's, it's great. I'll change the lead. How are you great. Yeah, yeah no, thank you. So, hey, so this is the thing, right? A lot, of, a lot of us over the years were speculating, right? Whether it was because of, uh, we really thought it was because of the Celtics big three, in addition to Raz Armando, right? So we were thinking, man, Paul Pierce, Ray Allen, KG, that's why they could, LeBron couldn't beat them, right? That's what a lot of fans were saying. LeBron couldn't beat the big three, and the big three formed to beat LeBron, right? Which is bullshit. We know the Celtics didn't form to beat LeBron, right? Because LeBron wasn't winning yet. So that couldn't have been true, right? But now we get a revelation from Mr. Dwayne Wade that Kobe, the, their worst nightmare, <laughs> Kobe was the reason LeBron, Wade, and Bosh got together. Bro, listen, bro. Now, this is Dwayne Wade, a competitor, uh, won a championship. Uh, with the Miami Heat before LeBron got there, right? So he was already a made man. He's he's talking right now to Tim Duncan's teammate, who y'all say is better than Kobe. He's sitting beside Pau Gasol, Kobe's teammate, who he says is responsible for making him a better player. Then he's sitting to the far right with Dirk Nowitzki, somebody who beat Wade and Bosh and LeBron in the finals and says Kobe Bryant's the best player he's, he's ever uh, played against, right? So now what do we have, right? We have the truth, y'all. How many more motherfuckers do you need in the room? How many more basketball players do you need in the room to say Kobe was that guy, right? Right? You guys don't believe it. Why? Because of the media. How much, let, let me ask you this, right? So I, I did some searching in the algorithm this morning to see, uh, cause this video went viral, right? Or the clip went viral, right? To see if, I was looking around to see if it was gonna be in the algorithm, right? Considering the fact that everybody's talking about this, right? Nope, you type in Dwayne Wade, you type in Kobe, old clips show up, right? Now, let's see how many people, right? Let's see how many people in the media talk about Dwayne Wade's comments. Or are they just going to ignore it like they did the Redeem Team documentary? Right? Right? We all know it's bullshit. We all know it's a cover-up. Right? This proves Kobe was the best. Right? Not only was he the best. Right? He was the greatest. Right? Now, you got... Three top level superstars in their primes, 27 years old, saying we can't beat this dude. We don't feel comfortable, not, not just with, with the two of us, but we need three. We need three. They were in the East, y'all. Look, you know how threatening a nigga gotta be? You're not even in the same conference. Kobe was a bad motherfucker. He got niggas in the East Coast, scared of him on the West Coast, right? So let's go over this, let's go over this. I got, I got a treat for y'all today. Oh, we gonna go through it. We gonna slow, we gonna chop and screw this shit. We gonna DJ screw this, right? Everybody thought it was because of the Celtics, but it was because of the man that they don't wanna give credit to, right? 
They took those MVPs from Kobe and gave them to Nash, right? They took the MVP from Kobe and gave, gave them to Nash, to Nash. Now, you can lie, say Nash was the MVP or whatever the case may be. We all know Kobe was a real MVP. Kobe should have had three, at least three, right? But let's replay this in slow motion, y'all. And I said, I'm cutting my TV off, soldier. And Kobe ran and grabbed their balls like a bitch. He cut his TV off. Let's go back again. And I said, I'm cutting my TV off, soldier. And Kobe ran and grabbed their balls like a bitch. Look, you see Palpin saw mock his ass? <laughs> Nigga, turn that shit off. And I said, I'm cutting my TV off, soldier. And Kobe ran and grabbed their balls like a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and to, you, to all you fans who are dick riders, right? You don't want to accept this shit. You're going to attack Wade, talk about his son, talk about how he's whipped. Gabrielle Union runs through the relationship, all sorts of bullshit, right? To avoid this. Bro, y'all can't be dick riding a man this much, bro. The truth is in front of your eyes, right? You guys don't want to accept the truth. Dwayne Wade looks up to Kobe as a better player, as a superior player. They all did. Let's go back. And I said, I'm cutting my TV off, soldier. Y'all don't Kobe like when I go back. I know y'all don't like this shit, but y'all got to accept the truth. And grab their balls like a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> right. So LeBron was the first person he thought about after Kobe won his championship, y'all. And mind you, back then, the, the big three Celtics, that's who the Lakers faced in the finals. So him and LeBron are watching Kobe beat the Celtics, right? That big three. With three, with, with three Hall of Famers, possibly four if Ron, Rajon Rondo gets in, right? Stacked bench. Stacked team, right? The best defensive team in the league, Kobe was going through them, right? He caught LeBron. Especially, he called LeBron, y'all. And I said, I'm cutting my TV off, soldier. And Kobe ran and grabbed their balls like a bitch. Who's LeBron. <laughs> and, and, and LeBron answered, he said, What's up, Wade? What's going on? Man, bro, Kobe just won another championship. Oh, what? What? Really? Yeah, man, LeBron, man, we need to join up. Uh, yeah, man, hold on. Let me call you back in 20 minutes, man. I'm, 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 I'm sleeping next to Savannah and, um, and Shannon. <laughs> Shannon like, yup, yup, yup. We get to it, LeBron. Just hold on. Give us 20 minutes. Me and Savannah going to fix everything. We're going to make sure you good. Yup. I'm not sharing my man with anybody. I don't know why Dwayne Wade calling this late. I love you. I love you. I cut the TV off when I watched that shit. I watched Kobe run and grab the ball and celebrate. I was like, so what you gonna do? <laughs> so, so, so they they were looking at Kobe. Like, yo, this nigga on some other shit. Right? He ain't say the Lakers. He ain't say he didn't say the, the Lakers team. He thought about one nigga. And that one nigga was Kobe. <laughs> that was our summer of the agency. Yeah. Like they had just they were dominating. Like Kobe so, was so, so let's put this shit to bed, right? Let's put this shit to bed. The big three, via Wade, the leader of the team, was formed. Because of Kobe Bryant. Right? LeBron, who everybody says is better than Kobe, could not, in his heart, didn't believe he could beat Kobe. So he went and teamed up with the second best shooting guard in the NBA and probably the third best player at that during that time. And all these rings, I was like, wait, hold on. Now you got five and we got one? Like, no. so this nigga said, he got five, we got one. And he's talking about when he says we, we're talking about Bosch and LeBron and Wade. So three niggas did, still ain't have no, enough championships to deal with Kobe's five. Mm. Kobe was a fucking beast, y'all. Wade was the only one with the championship, and he needed help. Oh, so yeah. 
they were they, they, that was a uh, so it's, it's great how we'll change the lead. How we can yeah. Oh, thank you. And, you see, and, and Wade revealed that, bro. Wade revealed that shit. See, LeBron ain't never gonna admit that shit, right? Because they're put they're putting him on a pedestal. He's walking around with goats, Shannon Sharp and all of them walking around with crowns and uh, all this shit, right? Who is the real king? He admitting it. Right? This is Wade. This is LeBron's best friend. Right? He's admitting it. Look at Tony Parker played with Tim Duncan. Y'all niggas who say Tim Duncan was better than Kobe. This nigga laughing his ass off right now. He knows the truth. Right? Dirk Nowitzki sitting back like, yeah, that was a motherfucking beast right there. We lucky he got hurt in 2011. Right, and then he was tired from all that three people going. And for y'all, keep repeating that Dirk beat Kobe in 2011. Yeah, we don't use excuses, but Kobe had an ankle the size of a bowling ball. Go look it up. Kobe refused to make excuses. Phil Jackson came out. We didn't even know, but Phil Jackson came out and said Kobe's ankle was swollen. Right, and the Lakers were going on a three peat. That's way different from niggas losing and trying to get their first ring. We were going for three. We fell short. We still got two. We still went back to back. Come on, y'all. We're going to rewind that again. I'm going to torture y'all today. I'm going to torture the shit out of y'all today. And I said, I'm cut my TV off some shit. This is Kobe Bryant film room. You know we got to go over this shit. Oh, we ran and grabbed their balls like a bitch. <laughs> LeBron. LeBron. Especially this. You know what I'm saying? Wait, what you doing calling my baby this late at night? Didn't I tell you not to call? You call at 7, okay? Me and LeBron and, 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 and Savannah, uh, we, we try to get comfortable, man. We watch a movie. I see me, but I love you. I love you. I cut the TV off when I watched that shit. I watched Kobe run and grab the ball and celebrate. I was like, So what you gonna do? That was our summer free agency. This is this is real shit, yo. They had just they were dominating, like. Kobe was winning all these rings. I was like, wait, hold on. Now you got five and we got one? Like, no. So, yeah. Wade knows how to do math, y'all. Five beats one every time. Man, they, they, that was a... Uh, so it's, it's great how we changed the lead. How we changed the lead. Yeah, no, thank you. <laughs> you know, he changed the lead. And then now you got KD and the Warriors getting together, all that shit. So Kobe's the start of all this super team shit, y'all. He's the start. Which, how y'all feel about that shit? Like I said, in my opinion, Kobe's the greatest player ever. Uh, you got Mike, right? If you argue with Mike, I won't have a problem with it. But I think Kobe Bryant's the greatest player ever. And um, other people keep making my case for me, right? You got three niggas in their prime, bro. Leading, leading three different teams, three different franchises. Two of them abandoned their squads in the East so they could get to Kobe in the West. Kobe beating the most 50 win teams in NBA history. Right? In his two championship run, right, where he went back to back. He went against more 50 winning teams than Magic Johnson did his whole career. Niggas is watching that shit. Wade was watching. Man, this is the Kobe Bryant film room, man. Y'all know, now I know nothing about theme, man. Man, this is the Kobe Bryant film room, and I holler.